guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I have a little strategy that rich people really follow. Um, it's called buy, borrow, and die. So a lot of rich people do do this. Um, they never pay, you know, you always hear like Warren Buffett doesn't pay taxes or very rich wealthy people don't really pay taxes. They pay the bare minimum. It's true. They buy assets, invest them, and increase their wealth. Then they use those and they, they get a loan on those those assets that they have and they convert it into cash to buy more things. So they've heard rich people say, oh, I buy assets that buy more assets. And they uh, avoid all of that. They avoid capital gains. So right here I'm on my, this is one way. Uh, this is my brokerage right here. This is M1 Finance. There's a link below if you want to join. Um, so I invest right here. Right now I have $75,000 invested into this this uh, this brokerage right here. I do have a an IRA, uh, a Roth IRA, about twenty five thousand dollars. These are all the these are all the companies that I invest in right there. So I'll go back to my monthly dividends. So right here, like I said, I had seventy five thousand seven hundred and eighteen dollars. These are all the stocks that I have. Um, if I decide today or or when the market's open, I decide, hey, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this. I will pay capital gains. It might be zero. It might be thirty percent. If it's less than a year, you might pay between fifteen and thirty percent. If it's more than a year, you've helped, you've held it for quite a while. It'd be fifteen percent or up to zero percent, depending on how your taxes were that year. So, like I said, how do rich people buy more assets to get more assets? Well, every brokerage, most brokerages, have the option to borrow money. I'm allowed to borrow. 40%, so $30,200 I can borrow at a base rate of 2.25%. So what does that mean? Like, what? I can literally go buy a car. It won't show up on my credit report. It won't show up anywhere there. I could buy a small car. Or I could buy something for my business. Or I could buy, if there's a house that was in that range, you know, I've shown in other videos where people buy that amount of house and they invest it. I can pay back that loan because I'm borrowing from my own self. I can pay $100 a week, $100 a day, $100 a month until it comes until it comes due, or I could uh, do other things. I can invest it into something else. You're not. It's really discouraged to like buy more stocks with the the loans that you're you're, you're using. I know some people do that. But it's not really uh, encouraged to do that because what happens if it, it gets a call? So if if one of these days like I lose, I reach $30,000. I will have to pay that. The, uh, the The brokerage will need that money. They're not gonna. They're not in it to lose money. So all my stocks would have to get down to thirty thousand uh, dollars, and it would be sold out. But you know, these are some pretty good stocks here. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna sell anytime soon. I I always told myself once Exxon Mobil, you know. I'll sell Exxon Mobil when airplanes have batteries. They fly on, on electricity instead of gas. Coca-Cola, I'm here for the long term. Apple, I'm here for the long term. Uh, you know, quite a few of these companies are REITs. I'm here for the long term with them. They're, I mean, I'm, I don't, yeah, I invest in Airbnb, so I did decide to buy Airbnb. There was a stock split this week for Time Warner. Um, if you did get that, I mean, that's great. You see a dip right here. I didn't understand this and know this, so I did sell to buy a house that I bought. I didn't understand this theory. So like I said, you you borrow the money. Within two days, I can get the money into my account, the $30,000. I can go buy other, other assets to make more money. So you've always heard rich people say, hey, I buy assets that buy more assets. So this is exactly it. You buy more. You're never gonna, you're never gonna sell these assets. Let's say you have $100,000. $100,000 invested, I'll be able to use $40,000. So if I have $200,000 invested, I could use $80,000 to go buy something else to make me more money and continue that, you know, and continue and continue and continue gaining and gaining until I have tons of assets. And like I said, you can refinance those houses. You can go buy, you can refinance those houses. You can buy more assets if the, you know, if the market goes up, but that money isn't directly used on your financial statements so you're not it's not gonna be there on your you know your credit score it's not affected because you're borrowing from yourself you're using your own money to 
You're using your own money to pay yourself. So let's say one month you can't make it. Something major happens in your life. Well, you don't have to pay it that month. Yes, the interest will still grow, but you pay it back as you want to. And as it increases, your, your limit increases. That's all possible. Uh, this is just a simple way. Like I said, you buy, borrow, and die. You transfer all those things out in a trust. And, you know, it's generational wealth that gets been passed on. And this is how really rich people do it. You know, I think uh, I've once heard that 10% of Americans own 80% of the stocks. That's a lot. But this is just an idea. This is a strategy that people use. Wealthy people really use. This is the, the way I'm using it. Uh, I plan to buy other things with this. And this is my brokerage. You know, I, uh, I get that percentage at 2.5% because I am uh, I have the membership with them I pay I think a 60 to 90 dollars a year which is really not a lot guys so I can invest two times a day M1 finance is is, is really built to the dividend long-term hold kind of person I'll have uh, I make a little money if you if you refer yourself I get 10 bucks you get 10 bucks I'll have that link at the bottom for you if you have any questions for this strategy or anything like that let me know. And thanks for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Have a great night.